Happy Thanksgiving to all our Canadian Harkening Deers, and welcome to the Harkening Deer Podcast, where we use the technology of recording equipment and the internet to congregate together across the spectrum of the time-space continuum and meditate in one accord. Harkening Deer is a Thirsty Deer studio production, and I am your host, Sean J. Stevens. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give a star rating, and write a review on iTunes or whatever platform on which you listen to this podcast. And if the contemplative practice of meditation is a spiritual application you believe to be a valuable exercise, as I do, then I welcome you to support this ministry by making a one or two dollar a month pledge at patreon.com slash hearkening deer. And now let us begin today's meditation with our facilitation of accommodating recommendations for meditation, or as I love to call them, our farms. Farm 1. No judgment. There is no such thing as a failed meditation session. Meditation is a time to just be. No shame. No judgment. Farm 2. Be still. I extend to you a no-pressure invitation to close your eyes, relax your body, calm your spirit, quiet your mind. Be still. Farm 3. Posture yourself toward a heart and mindset of peace and loving-kindness. Often, if we receive a negative email or text or spoken word, this is what we tend to focus on. Even if we have received dozens of positive messages in that same day. Farm 3 and today's meditation aims to break free of this mold. The objective for today and moving forward is to dwell on the positive. If a negative thought or feeling pops into your head or heart, simply see it and let it go, and embrace a heart and mindset of peace, of joy, and of loving kindness. I have heard it said that neurologists claim it takes 15 seconds of dwelling on something to make a lasting impression on our minds. If this is accurate, we could do ourselves a great service to take a moment each time we encounter something that brings us peace, joy, or gives us reason to be grateful. Let us all take a moment to dwell on something we are grateful for today. It could be a big thing. It could be a small thing. That doesn't much matter. But it matters that it is something positive.
Now let us remind ourselves of something positive or encouraging someone said to us over the past couple of weeks. Let us dwell in that for a while. Let us picture in our mind's eye something beautiful we saw in nature over the past couple of weeks. It could be a sunset, or a mountain, a river, or even just a tree on the side of the road. Let us keep that picture in our minds for a moment. And now let us take a moment just to be grateful for its beauty. Let us take this exercise with us over the weeks to come. Let us do our very best to develop a mindset of stopping to smell the roses. Often our lives are lived at such a breakneck speed that we don't feel we have the time to stop and simply breathe in the beauty of what's around us. I encourage you to do what you can to break this mold in your own life. I feel the pull on my heart to do the same. Next time you see something beautiful, or hear something encouraging, or are reminded of something positive, try to take a few moments just to stop and let it sink in. Dwell on it for a while. Adopt an attitude of gratitude and be grateful.
happy Canadian Thanksgiving, my dear brothers and sisters. <laughs>